ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. It has been a very long time, and the last time I made a video was without my voice, without me talking, and that is because I was in a different country for three months, and I did not have the complete setup. Unfortunately, though, when I came back, um, my main PC, its graphics card, the GGX 1070, decided to die, and I sent the PC back for... Um, for uh, to be fixed, so to say. The problem, though, is because the GTX 1070 at this time is about two years old. They don't uh, Nvidia doesn't sell it anymore. So the thing that so the problem is my uh, the store that I bought it from cannot just simply replace it and send it back. Um, they have to send it to Nvidia and uh, see what NVIDIA says if whether they're going to fix it themselves or if they're going to replace it with a different card. I hope it, I want, I hope to be the RTX 2070, um, but I don't know, I mean the price point about is the same between the two cards. Um, and I talked to the, the, the uh, computer store, but they don't know what's going to happen, so. And it's been already one and a half months and I still haven't gotten it back, I, they still don't know what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I'm still running my laptop, my PC, my, my gaming laptop. And uh, you see, you can see the specs in the below. And uh, yeah, but the reason I wanted to flood the F uh, FS lamps uh, again is because, and uh, because of this FS2 Crew. Um, FS2 Crew finally released their version for the FS lamps, and I've been using it nonstop. There are still a couple of issues that you may find or see, or I may struggle with because I think there are actual bugs in the program, but I am working on seeing if I can report those issues there. So that's why I'm flying this constantly, constantly to see if it's really a bug or if there's something I'm doing incorrectly. But so far, I think um, it's really a bug. So yeah, we are at Lisbon, flying over to London, and we are supposed to start our procedure in about two minutes. Um, I have selected the safety exterior inspection to be off. I don't really need to do that every time. Um, so you can just go to PF, run pre-flight, and then I'm going to go to 31 minutes. Um, so in one minute, he will start. The first officer will start his flows. I could be running ultimate traffic live. I get about 30 FPS with ultimate traffic live here um, in the cockpit, um, which is pretty good for a GTX 1060. If you think about it. So with the 1070, with the same settings, I could get 30 frames with all in all scenarios, which is great, um, and I'm happy with the settings I have. But uh, yeah. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into the flight deck here, and uh, we get in solid 35 FPS, I would say, average, which is nice. Looking that way, we get a little bit drop, but that's fine. Probably looking that way, too. Yeah, that's all normal. Let's see if we look in the back. Yeah, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that going. I'm going to open up the door, or the window, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it... No, we have to have power first. Alright, so he does his flows. The first thing we're going to check is our registration. Um, our flight plan and of the aircraft. So let me just check that. So, golf, un echo, uniform, uniform, echo, which is checked. Temperature is two zero degrees, which is fine, so we don't need extra air or anything like that. Fire test. Now we just wait for these systems to boot up.
Okay. So, the aircraft is completely uh, booted up now. So we are going to... Check our uh, data page. So, A3-2200 with the uh, IAE engines. Now database is up to date. I should check. Let me go to data, position monitor, and navigate select and deselect Ground any... Ground Go ahead. Confirm chocks in. Chocks are in. Roger. So, let's check Lisbo. Nope, doesn't look like it. So everything's in order. So we go to init, we go enter our flight plan, flight number, and init request. And we should get some things populated. Cost index of 30. So we're just going to check. Let's been over to um, London. Just checked. Cost index 30. Cruise flight level is 340, speed 5501, and our alternate is Echo Golf, the old Fox Shot, which is all checked. So, MCU. I'm out for the walk around. Go to Atsu, AOC, and then we initialize with the uh, A cars. Our estimated time en route is 2 hours and 5 minutes. We need inner data request. And then block fuel is 8,100. We're going to check that. Okay, that is checked. Zero fuel weight of 60.1. And center time of departure is 10.15 Zulu. And uh, that is checked. So we can send that. And GSX will start fueling us up. Then we go to boarding. Uh, we, we're not going to... Um, do catering because we're not on our we already did catering as we flew here um, we do that at our base so UTC it is about 49 so in 6 minutes so 05 10 05 we start porting request and that is done check our receive messages we'll get a couple messages for now so 060.1 approximately that's checked alright click set that Turn and check the message. Speedbird 501, Lisbon over to uh, London Heathrow. Standard time of departure is 10:15, and standard time of uh, actual departure. So, uh, of uh, this is block time. This is uh, in the air. So, 10:26, 11 minutes of taxi. That's all checked. Okay. So from there, we're going to go and check our status. Now, if TCAS fault, that's checked. We clear once. We then check for the in-op systems, and these are all normal. And then we clear again. And it should be gone. All right, once that is checked, we do our overhead scan. We just want to check no white lights, except for a couple things which I'll mention in a moment. Okay, see what signs stay off because we're still refueling. Check. And our fuel pumps stay off also when we're filling.
just want to check whether somebody's online. Nope, okay, good. I'm back. No MCD issues on the walk-around. MCDU. So in it, go to init B, and we put in our estimated zero fuel weight and estimated plugs fuel. So 8.1 is estimated. We'll put that in there. And our zero fuel weight estimated is, was 60.1. So we enter that in there, and I'll do some calculations, which will help us. And then we can put in our arrival. ILS 27 left. And via. Oscar Charlie Kilo is our our via. Insert that, and we now check our flight plan. So I'm gonna open up my charts here. So 2000 Papa Tango 412. with a 4,000 feet or above. Then, Exeda. And that is the end of the SID, and everything is checked there. So now we check our actual flight plan. Direct Abbot. Hi, the security and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes. Thanks. Oh, did I... I did something wrong there. Do it 9.56. I don't know why I said 9. Let's see if it works. Calculated. Wow. Okay, good. There are sixty eight passengers. Okay, so our flight plan has been checked, so everything is fine there. So now we check if we require any red nav information, which we don't. Go back to init and wind request. Let me just wait for that to complete.
I'm doing good. Just takes a little while. Phases. That's done. Go to performance and enter our suit values. Hello. Thank you. This is a noise abatement departure procedure. One, however, I just realized. Check something in the settings options. So the way I um, determine whether the performance page is completed or not is by setting by, by leaving the uh, trim value blank. We don't know it anyways because we're still boarding, so we don't know exact value. Um, plus, it tells you, hey, you're not done yet. Morning. All the rest Morning. of the information already helps the aircraft calculate. So it's like 767 is what we're expecting. So to init B, just to know that we're also missing a value here. Hello. And from there, actually, we need to go to here and request weather. QNH. Morning. Morning. 1018. Set. Set. Alright. Constraints, you are set. Alright, she'll climb. Six zero. Completed as it looks like. Sorry. Ground from cockpit. Go ahead. Oxygen test. Roger. Change. Climb blue now, blue 6000. Let's check your nature 1018. Speed check. Everything here is fine as well. And refueling is completed. Check our fuel quantity, 8,160. Fuel signs can now come on, and fuel phones can now go to auto. We'll also check the following 
are able now to. I'm right next to her. Oh, I'm not quite Thank yet. You. Once this turns to six, we can. There it is. 8,100. Send that. Hello. Thank you. We're gonna set some information that we already know. Check two flex, we don't know any of this. Transition is 4,000. Acceleration is 3,000. Cruise is 34,000. So you go to tax, you know. Plenty of time. So we're, we're going to pretend we're going to do the uh, departure briefing. Are you ready for the departure briefing? Ready. Any questions? None. Why not? And that is done. At this time, we'd also request I for clearance, but nobody's online, so we're good with that. So now we just wait until um, all of our information comes to us, and looks like there's a lot of baggage to load. So. to do and we already finished everything we need to finish for now. We're just waiting on some information. So our load sheet, but that didn't come until later. And um, yeah, at six minutes we'll start our APU.
was about to reach six minutes. So we're gonna go and close our window. There we go. And start our APU. Wait for the flap to open, that's when we know the self-test has completed. from cockpit. Go ahead. Please remove external power. Roger. Removing external power. The external power removed. Waiting for our load sheet. It's usually always the one thing that takes the longest. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. And that means we're going to close our door. delayed a little bit because of our load sheet. Which is unfortunate, that's always the part that gets me. Not always, but most of the time. Oh, we can already do a couple of one thing here. Camp crew arm slides and cross check. So we'll see all the slides arm now. We are ready for departure. Voila. Okay, now we're just our load sheet, which takes forever. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good morning and a very warm welcome to your flight today. My name is Norman. It's my pleasure to introduce the rest of the crew today.
Come on. Can't do the before start checklist or anything like that until we've got this completed. Sometimes it's realis realistic timing. Based as show. Sometimes it just takes way too long. Finally. Aha. We're going to extend down zero fuel weight is 60 exactly. So a little bit less. And it's zero fuel weight center of gravity. 32.5. And fuel is 8,100. So with that, we're going to go back. Performance request. Our Pop a pop a tango. Runway is two. No, 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 no. Zero three. Packs off. Intersections no. Temperature is two four. QH one zero one seven. Wind is three hundred to ten. Togo no, config 2, 68, and uh, 30.7. Send that, and we'll go to receive messages and go to performance, and then we'll just wait for our performance, which will take another couple of minutes, one to two minutes. Now we can get on our merry way. So are we delayed at all? One, uh, two minutes right now. Push my tail left. Okay, there's her performance now. Down 0 0.3. Flex temp 69 degrees. It's really high. 155. 155. 161. And we gotta enter, enter this information in the briefing here. 69. 155, 155, 161, and that is done. We're now ready for pushback, so, before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On auto. Adheres. Nav. Fuel quantity. 8,000 kilograms. Takeoff data. Set. Barrel ref. 1018 set. One zero one eight set down to the line. Okay, beacon coming on. Down to the Hmm, I wonder who that is. Alright, so Let's check this one. So, those are right. I don't. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. 
Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust levers. Idle. Parking brake. Set on. On. Before start checklist complete. Okay, so we're ready to go now. A little bit delayed. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. I'm curious if she's. I think he just joined. Locking gear. I was going to see you too. Departure check completed. Bypass bin inserted. Release parking brakes. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Starting engine two. Starting engine one. Set parking brakes. For about two four six and two four six. Okay. I believe four. Two four six two four. Two four six four. Two four six four. Unlocking gear. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass bin removed. Right, two, four, about six, four. Perfect. Touch to normal. If you bleed off, if you off. Wait till he sets his version of trim. And then we correct it. Left is clear. Right is clear. What is he doing? Starting engine one. Okay. <laughs>
After start checklist. Anti-ice. Off. Ecam status. Checked. Pitch trim. Set and checked. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. Brake check. Pressure zero. Norman. Hello, it's Norman. That's the cabin secure for takeoff. Thank you. Well now. This airport looks really nice. It's only the buildings. They seem very, very, uh, very clean. Flight control check. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Checked. Checked. Flight instruments. Checked. Checked. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap setting. Config 2. Config 2. V1, VR, V2, flex temp. V1, 155, VR, 155, V2, 161, flex temp, 69 degrees. Flex temp, 69 degrees. V1, 1, 5, 5, VR, 1, 5, 5, V2, 1, 6, 1, flex temp, 6, 9, degrees, ATC. Set. ECAM memo. Take off no blue. Down to the line. Runway 03 confirmed. Let me 
just let uh, everybody know that I'm going to enter the runway. Clear left side. Clear right side. Approach path clear of traffic. Runway 03 confirmed. Kevin crew be seated for takeoff. So where's Packs are off. No, they're not. Okay, see. That's where he doesn't do it actually. Okay, so I gotta report that for sure. Below the line. Takeoff runway. Confirmed. Confirmed. Cabin crew. Advised. TCAS. T A R A. Engine mode selector. Normal. PAX. Off. Before takeoff checklist complete. Ready? Affirm. Take off. Oh, wait. Flex SRS runway auto thrust blue. Checked. Thrust set. One hundred knots. Checked. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Gear up. are on. Standard. Standard. Cross checked. Passing flight level zero four five. Now. Checked. I don't have one on. Flaps one. Speed checked. Flaps one.
Flaps zero. Speed checked. Flap zero. After takeoff, climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Below the line. Barrel ref. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff, climb checklist complete. Confirm seat belts off. Negative. Confirm clear red nav. Negative. Confirm copy active to secondary. Negative. Cruise flight level is as shown. Optimum flight level is as shown. Recommended max flight level is as shown. Are you happy with our current selected flight level? Yes. Okay. 